Das Boot. Oh, hey, Steve, how's it going? Holy crap, I haven't seen you in a thousand years. How you doing, man? Hey, Paul, how you been? Good, I haven't seen you in forever. It has been a long time. Have a seat. Certainly. Definitely. What's new and exciting? <sighs> Learning guitar again. Learning guitar. So where did this all come from? This learning guitar thing. Middle age. Middle age. You couldn't before, and now you can? I can't afford a sports car, so I think I could afford like a hundred dollar guitar. There you go. If that works, what are you playing? Like any particular stuff, like styles or? I'm ruining all kinds of music. I think they call it punk rock. It's punk already. <laughs> We're gonna have a shot. All right, all right, we have it is shot time. Well, I'm gonna make for you, yes. seeing that you just said that you like to ruin things. I do. We're gonna call it the ruins. Yeah. You allergic to anything? Yes, chicken stock. All right. <laughs> Time has yeah, so cheers. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Pretty good, right? Not bad. Tastes kind of like cold coffee. So I have a question for you. I have an answer for you. I hope you do. What I is do. a gamer? Because Steve, you might not know this, is the ultimate gamer. Yeah. When you go into Steve's house. If, if you were to use this room, you could fill it with games to the top with yeah. your collection yeah. without a problem. Over a thousand easy. Easily over a thousand. Well, if so, you count RPG books and board games and card games, right. well over a thousand. Right. So why'd you get into all this stuff? What happened? It's fun. It is fun, but it's, fun? it's always introduced by someone else. No one ever said, I, or at least I've never known somebody like, hmm, that looks like a neat game, I'm going to play that. It doesn't start that way. Usually, like for me, I learned like Dungeons and Dragons because I had friends that had played well, think, it. Think, how did we actually meet? It was because of a game. Exactly, it was because of a game. It was a card game. It was a card game. Hi, Ed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> almost world champion. Yeah. Almost close. Gamers aren't normal people, which makes you abnormal. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes we're normal. Yeah. Well, I don't know when. Some of us have, you know, social insecurity issues, and what better way than to crush somebody at a game? <laughs> To prove your social dominance, mm. you know. There you go. Like when you're rolling those dice and risk, and you take back Madagascar, and their last army goes <laughs> off the board. There you go, and that's it. Win. And that's right it. Right there. So I wanted to introduce, seeing that you're the ultimate gamer. Okay. I wanted to. Your words, not mine. <laughs> but he is. He's really good. So we're gonna play this game, yeah. which is timed. The goal is to play. <laughs> This is only going to be funny for us. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you have one minute to answer uh, as many questions as you can. Yes. Once you do that, you'll be put on a scoreboard. All so right. right now, you no matter what you do, you're the high score. Yes, I'm the winner. The next person that comes in will play the same game and try to do better than you, and so on okay. and so forth. All right. Favorite color? Blue. Favorite band? Rush. Favorite song? Balsing Matilda. Favorite actor? Mel Gibson. That's so funny. Favorite snack? Pretzels. Favorite drink? Water. Favorite destination of a trip that you've actually had? Loret de Mar in Spain. Wonderful. Favorite place to hang out? Paul's Pub. Good answer. I want five more seconds of the clock for that. Oh, you might get it. Okay. Person you admire the most? <laughs> Not Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite vehicle that you've owned? BMW. Dream car? DeLorean. Favorite president in your own lifetime? Reagan. Reagan. Favorite thing to wear? Clothes. Words to live by? Eat, drink, and be merry. Words to not live by? Hey, move your car. <laughs> Who is your dream girl? Dream girl? Dream girl. Who's your dream girl? Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Kylie Minogue. Okay. Doggy or missionary? Doggy. Well, we were, we, for a day, for me it was a day, we were ambassador for Kenzer. Remember yeah, that? what was that? That was on... For Hackmaster in New Jersey. Yeah, which convention was that? Was it New Jersey? We were in New Jersey. We stayed yep. over in New Jersey. And uh, 
we we did demos. That was of, like a science fish adventure, wasn't it? At a college campus? It was at a college campus. And we drove out and that was my prob I think my first time I ever went to a con. Yeah. And I was very I didn't know what to make of it. I didn't know I busted your con cherry pop. You, you did. You sure I always bought you a drink first or something. <laughs> I didn't know that. After that I had a cigarette. It was wonderful. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it meant something to me. I remember because we were like stuck <laughs> somewhere far away from everything, too. We were way in the middle of nowhere. Yep. That I would definitely confirm. We had almost no foot traffic, I think. Yeah. But every once in a while, people would come in. I, I remember, and this was what was so funny about it. You had some people that had, there were a lot of people wearing costumes. Yeah. But cosplaying then isn't what cosplaying is now. Well, that was also more of a science fiction Star Trek Star Wars convention, too, I think. Very much so. But, like, you didn't see anybody's Vader, a good Vader, no. or a good Stormtrooper. No. What you did see were people with buck teeth that were vampires, but they weren't really vampires. And you could tie the little thing, you know, your cape with a bow. Yeah. yeah. There was a lot of that. It was not... Uh, it was more Halloween special. Yeah, it has, it's not like today. Hi, Steve. Hey, Paul. <laughs> How are you? How you been? Oh, it's been so long. <laughs> Man, I just had this weird deja vu feeling. Yeah, I feel like we're doing the same thing over and I over again. It was like Groundhog Day. I haven't seen you in so long, yet I feel like I'm living the same situation <laughs> no, over and over again. No. We should probably do this really, really fast. <laughs> so Steve and I have a lot of things in common. We like Star Wars a whole lot, and we also <laughs> dated, have dated a lot of weird, crazy women. Not so, the same ones, though. No, we don't think. It's possible. I don't know. Plausible. We could break that trend. She's upstairs, right? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only part of the story that has changed. Everything else is going to be verbatim the same, but you don't know that. Anyway, so. Yes, Bob. New Year's Eve, we went on a double date. We did. The only double date we've ever been on. True. It's true. We've been on each other for a long time. You have an amazing memory, it's Paul. It's incredible what it's you. Incredible. Repetition the helps you remember. You can remember. <laughs> it's, it is true. It and is. when you, yeah, repetition is key. You mm -hmm. just you keep saying it. And you remind yourself. Anyway, so we went to uh, a really, really nice hotel, yep. in, an inn with yeah. a great restaurant. That it was, was an attached. Avon, right? It was Avon an Avon, Avon. in fact. Yes, it was. Remember the name of it? Because I have no idea what it was. It, it was, in fact. Was it? It was. Oh. Yes. So we went there with our significant others at the time. At the time. At the time. Set it all up. Tried to take care as much as I could. So, yeah. you know, want to make sure everybody's comfortable and cool. It was a very nice night, too. So. Thank you. Paul did a great job. It's true, I did. However, you ever need a cruise director? I recommend Paul. I you could be on Love Boat. Great travel agent. I could be. I could be Julie on Love Boat. You could. She had a real big problem. Should they fire her? You are kind of. Okay. I'm getting a little top you are. heavy. I'll, have to blur, I'll use the blurry shots <laughs> from before. No one will know. Like, like a blobby. No one will know. You're so anyway, pregnant there. How I, long oh my god. I know. I'm working on it. It's tough. It's been an uphill battle. Um, working on it, what, two weeks ago? A month? Uh, How long uh, are you working on it? Yesterday. Three weeks? Yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. You look pretty good for only being yeah. a day in. One day in, right? You should have seen me yesterday. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we went on this double date, and we, we, we both arrive at dinner at the table. With our dates. With our dates. My girlfriend looks great. Your girlfriend looks great. She, she looks amazing. Yep. We ordered a couple drinks. We get into things. Just talking a little bit. Yep. Um, and then... She had to go. She, she excused herself. She left. Go. She left. Now, normally, of course, you would think she's got to go to the bathroom. That's why people Better leave. Knows. Whatever. Right. Whatever. You know, wasn't a girly thing because Ju your girlfriend stayed. Right. And because girls go to the bathroom together, we should go to the bathroom together we sometime. Should. That we will. Should. That'll that would just totally mess with our mess heads. up everybody. So. We, I said something like, huh. Let's go to the bathroom. We'll have to, we'll have to work a signal out, like a wink that nobody sees, or a quick, you know, hey, let's, uh, where are you guys going? To the bathroom. Um, oh, I need what, your help with the bathroom. What, what could possibly <laughs> be weird about that? Um, so anyway, she leaves, and she's gone. For a while. A while, a long while, like half hour, maybe, maybe more? Maybe more. Maybe more. When she came back, I didn't recognize her because she was wearing a completely different outfit. Yep. Completely different hair. Yeah. Completely different makeup. Yeah. And so, you know, your brain has to catch up with all this. And dinner proceeded as if nothing happened. Exactly. And we went through dinner, and the whole time, you know, hi, it's, you know, 
thanks for coming. And yeah. we could not address the situation. So the next morning, before breakfast, because we went out and had breakfast together, yep. I went out into the snowy fields, very nice little picturesque moment. And my girlfriend asks me, I think she's going to say something beautiful, you know. No. She's like, what the fuck's wrong with that girl? <laughs> So, I'm, oh, so I'm not the only one that saw that. Yep. So what your take was? My take? What was your impression of the costume change? The, well, you know, the, I didn't even notice it. How could you I not notice something like that? To it. How is that possible? Because my eyes were going in a certain location, and I didn't notice that they had changed. She did have massive... She did. I mean, I mean like, that's massive. all you could see. And I can understand that point. Yep. That's how, all you ever kept saying. Dude, they were huge. My girlfriends were really big too, but your girlfriend like, what the heck? watermelons, dude? Like, I'm talking like not the Mexican ones. I'm talking like California watermelons. I belong. Crazy. Anyway, here's the crazy weird relationship. Indeed. Here we go. Missionary or smooth? Smooth. Up oh, time. Time. Missionary or smooth? Missionary or smooth. <laughs> what the hell question is that? I got that. All right. Are you sure? <laughs>